Hey, it's Surfing Student here, and today I want to showcase how we with Java can connect to an API and get some data. First, what is an API? An API is simply some construction where we can make a request through HTTP, for example, or HTTPS in this case, and then we will get some data. Normally, or for most APIs, we would need to make an account, get some kind of key, and so on and so on to make sure we are like authenticated that we are allowed to use this API, but for this showcase, I'm just going to use something called a public API, which is just a very simple API, like for example, metadata or meta weather, where I can just go online, type in the URL, blah, 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 blah. And in the case of this one, I am able to add inside the URL a, a city, for example, London. And I then get returned some data as a JSON object. In this case, a JSON array containing just one JSON object, returning some information about London, like the title, location type, its city, a unique ID, um, and the position, latitude and longitude. So how we can actually do this in Java is that I firstly have created a Maven project inside IntelliJ, and I added one dependency, which is this one, JSON, that's simple, which allows me to create um, JSON objects inside Java. And in this case, because the API is returning JSON information, it makes it quite a bit easier. So firstly, I'd mentioned I have my metaweather.com, blah, 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 blah. And I'm using Cory, in this case, the city name, like London. So first I have an URL, where I just have this string, so this technically is doing the exact same as we do in Chrome. Just put it inside a URL format, my API and London, and then use a HTTP URL connection. So in Java, we need to create a connection and we then later on check if the connection is made and then we can get some information. So we create a connection, URL.open connection, we cast it to a HTTP URL connection. We then set the request, request method to be a get because mainly we talk about like getters and get and post or update stuff. But for now, I'm just going to be getting from the API and we're going to be sending anything. So technically, we could also be sending data to an API where the API is just the, the binding between the client and the server that allow us to talk. In this case, it's a public API and we're just able to get some data. So the connection set request method. So how what we're going to do with this request is going to be a get. We're then gonna call connect. So we're gonna try to make connection. We then simply check if the connection is successful by getting a integer response code. So we do con.get response code. So we would like the response code to be 200, but that means okay. So if the response code is 200, everything is fine. So in the case that it's not 200, we would call and throw an exception. And one thing I might've forgotten to mention is that we actually just have a giant try catch block outside of everything, but that's a quite a few things that actually need a catch block. This is not the best way of doing it. We'd probably do some kind of sections. For example, all the connection stuff need one try catch and later on we are sending information. We might have another try, but just for the simplicity, I just made one try catch around everything. So we'll check if the connection is made. If it's made, we continue. We do what we want to do. Otherwise we would call throw this exception and we would return which kind of response code we got. So in the case we made the connection, we then first create a string builder, we'll just call information string and we then create a scanner. This, if you know a bit of Java would know this would also kind of need a try catch block, but because we just have a try catch block catching everything around this, this will do for now. It's not the best way of doing it again, but it makes it a bit simpler. So we make a scanner which takes our URL that open stream. So first we checked if the connection is, if a connection could be established, it can, because it can be established, we then open a stream to our URL. And in this case, we are just getting some stuff and we're then going through all the objects you would get from our URL. In this case, just so we'll just get an array containing just one element. So we just get this. So we just go through everything. In this case, we just get one. And we then close our scanner, quite important. And I then try printing. I'm printing more, but for now, let's use first print statement. It's just going to print our array containing our one JSON object. A 
string. Note this is a string for now. We then would like our string to be transformed into a JSON object so we can actually get some information from it because from a string it's a bit more complex. We could technically just go through it with the for loop and find what we're looking for, but it makes it quite a bit easier if we can just work with JSON objects. So we use our JSON parser, which is a part of the JSON symbol stuff. We import it using Maven. So we create a parser and we then simply create a JSON array called data object in this case, which is our parser to parse and the string value of our string builder, information string. And we then would like to get this as a JSON object. So first I just try to print it. So we're printing our JSON object at the first position, index zero, in our JSON array, we have our array. We have only have one object in an array, so our object at index zero would be our JSON object. We then put our JSON object into a specific JSON object called country data because I'm then able to get my, for example, country data that get using kind of like the key. So in this case, I got location type. So if we look location type, would be city. And as you can see, we print city. So first I have my JSON array containing a JSON object, then go through using my index to get index zero, my object at index zero, and then the city. We could then using another part of our metadata. Let me just show guys, I'm not going to do it in all the Java, but what we could do is using this void ID, I don't know how it's pronounced, but using this one, we can actually get some weather information about this city. As you can see, I just need to input in here. And we get the, the weather all the next few days, I can't remember exactly how many, but we can then find like the, let's see what we can find, the min temperature, the max temperature, and I think it's supposed to be the current temperature, and so on for the next few days. So technically, using this one, we would just take our the location type, we can get OID, then take this ID and add it to this URL. We would take this ID from here, put it onto here, and we would then again with this one call URL at open stream and get the information, maybe get the first information again, and maybe then extract the min and the max temperature or the current temperature for London, for example. And this way we can get technically any city that is part of the public API meta weather and then get the weather information. So I hope this kind of helped get a better understanding of how the API works and how inside Java can use the APIs. We can technically just do ul.openStream but it is preferred that we make these checks to make sure that there's actually a connection established so we don't cause any problems because we can't connect to something that isn't there. But if you enjoyed this video, in general, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.